Hi there, it's Sandy from Spiral Crafts and Workshops again with a simple tutorial to show you how to make a free daisy and polymer clay. If you want to receive more free tutorials, don't forget to subscribe below and give us a thumbs up on our YouTube channel and you'll see all the ones that are coming up soon. So, to make the daisies, what do we need? Well, we need a work surface, we need some greaseproof paper, nice and uh, non-stick, and I've got a jumping clay tool, they call it a Pinocchio tool because it looks like Pinocchio's head. You'll also need some white clay, uh, uh, this is about two or three grams, and you'll also need about a gram of yellow clay. Okay, let's get going. Take your white clay, roll it into a ball, you know what I'm going to say, roll it into a sausage. Right. Now what we want to do is cut this into six pieces. What I do normally is pop a line in the middle and we actually want to go through this time and then each of these into three. So if you put a line in the middle and just go off to one side and then off to the other side and again a line in the middle off to one side they do stick together, watch out, and then off to the other side. Now what we're after is six pieces that are more or less the same size because it just makes the flower look that much nicer. So I'm going to roll them into a ball so I can see better what I need to move around. That's a really small one there. Right, so I've got a couple of big ones. So I'm going to take bits off the bigger ones and pop them onto the smaller ones. So that we start bringing them up to the same sort of size. And it's really difficult to do exact, but we can get close enough. So these are all looking a better, a better size now. There we go. Don't forget, try not to get them to touch because they will stick together. They're little tinkers that way. Right, they look about right, so I'm going to give these a good roll so they're nice and smooth on the outside. So you see it's nice and smooth, these have got little wrinkles in. So oh, it's got a little wrinkle in still, give it another roll. That's it. So I give them a good roll so they're nice and smooth. Uh, if they aren't smooth they might need a little bit of water. I've got a separate tutorial that shows you how to look after your clay and how to keep it hydrated. Find the link for that down below as well. Right, so we've got all those done and now I'm going to turn them into little teardrop shapes. So put your finger just off the, just off the centre, roll backwards and forwards and then you end up with that kind of a shape. You kind of do want it quite pointed and you want them all about the same. So he's a little bit too long in the nose, so I'm just going to push him back in a bit because we're going to flatten these. So, there we are, we've got all six done now. I'm going to take the first one. On the jumping clay tool, um, it's got a flat side and you'll feel a side that's got bumps on. So you want flat side down. You can do it with your finger if you want to, it's just as effective, but you do get a nice finish with the jumping clay. Um, it's probably best actually to do this on a little bit of non-stick paper on the edge there, because otherwise it might stick to the surface here. So I'm just going to flatten it like that and you'll end up with gently peel it off, you'll end up with a flat teardrop shape then just gently pull the pointy bit so it elongates a little and then take the nose of your tool and put it like that and press in so you end up with a dent like that and then just do that with all six so you end up with flat ones with a dent in them
okay, once you've got all six, you want to start arranging them with the pointy bits to the centre. So you want to start arranging them like that. So now you can see the flower starting to form. So you want to bring them in. The problem with the clay is you don't want to stick it together until you're absolutely ready to stick it together. So I'm about the shape I want there. So I'm just going to put this in and start letting the clay touch together. The problem is once the clay touches together, if you try to pull it apart, it tends to do it like a pizza cheese effect. And then it's it kind of wrecks. You have to go back and start making your, your object again because it distorts it. So there's our daisy, daisy petals all together. Grab your yellow clay, put those over there. You can roll this on the surface, don't worry about the greaseproof paper for this. Until we move the, the flower over. So it even sticks to the, to the paper if you're not careful. So it's always good to be gentle. Once you've got your ball, find your flat side again, or just with your finger. We want to press that down like that. Does that look about the right size? Go in the middle, yes. Let it shrink back a little bit because it will. And I'm going to press it again. Just make it bigger again. Yep, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to bring it to here. I'm going to pop the yellow centre right where I want it. Press it down gently so it sticks on. Don't go too firm with that, you want to keep a nice smooth surface. And then rearrange my leaves a little. So kind of a bit more there. That's it. Then take the nose of your Pinocchio tool, which is this bit here, and you want to go straight down and in and just lots of little like that. Lots of little random dots. Quite firm, you want to make quite a big Dent, not all the way through but quite because it will sort of pop out again if you're not careful there we go and there you've got it and you've got your first daisy now you can make these in any size that you want um, what I've done with them you can make them into mobiles and um, there's a link below that you can uh, follow and there's a pack where I can show you how to make them into mobiles or fridge magnets I wouldn't recommend these as key rings um, because they've got bits that can get pulled off and caught in clothing quite easily and break um, because they're not, not stuck on too, too firmly. Oh, that's what the back looks like if you wanted to see the back as well. So the other thing you can do them as well is here's one I use around the house. I did two daisies and uh, smaller ones and then I PVA glued them onto a side of a jar that I'd upcycled with Decapatch and they sit upstairs with uh, lots of different things in that I use. And that's it for today. That's how to make your daisy. Don't forget you can make any size you want just by using small amounts of clay. Alright, thank you very much and we'll see you soon.